Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In this video we are just going to continue on getting our islands marked off. Starting with this one which is just in between Windfall and Dragon Roost. Let's find our little map fish friend here. and see what he has to say because I don't think we have this one marked off on our map. Which is rather surprising. But I guess I just didn't think of it, because like I said, I was only trying to mark off important islands for the first little while, so. This is Paw Print Island. Do you know what a choo-choo is, small fry? No, I'm not talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. Well, what? Uh, ah, never mind. They're those slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly, yeah. Thank you, we, we know what they are. So Paw Print Island has a lot of them, um, and they actually have the rare uh, blue chew jellies on that island. So it's a good place to get a bunch of blue chew jelly if you want to. And it's really close to where the potion shop is, so the fish was just pointing out that you can go, you can come here, get a bunch of chew jelly, and then go to the um, the potion guy in Windfall and get your uh, your blue chew jelly potion. But anywho, I'm just gonna go on ahead and get, I'm gonna get the island taken care of first and then we'll get the uh, the treasure that's out in the middle of the ocean. You need chart number 30 to get the treasure that's out there so keep that in mind. And you can even see like it has a picture of what looks like a chew which is actually kind of freaky in my opinion. Not gonna lie. Ooh, that was deadly. Now this island doesn't look like much, obviously being that it's pretty bare and like and you can't like blow these rocks up or hit them or anything. They're basically just like statues that are uh imprinted on the island. So there should be um a hole in on one of the little islands over here. These little islands kind of act as the um the paw prints, so to speak, of paw print island. So what you need to do is you need to pull out your hook shot and uh, need to find a way to hook yourself onto the trees so you can go across the uh, the paws of the island. Um, what I might need to do is I might need to go for my boat because I can't I can't really get that close as far as I can see. That should be close enough. There we go. And there, there's like I said, there should be a hole around here to go into. And there's also some rupees. See, there's a hole right there. With like this gigantic looking strange, that's just a strange looking tree, but anyways. We have another one of these rooms where we uh, have to destroy a bunch of enemies. Whiz robes, really? Do you, did you really have to give me whiz robes? Hopefully, they only have one or two of them, and then they'll give me something new. Or you know, this wizard, this whiz robe could come down here and stop acting like a total coward, and also landing in the same spot, making it incredibly easy for me to kill him. Whatever. I like an easy kill. I have no problem with that. Oh boy. Oh god, there's two of them now. No! Uh, here I was, l lipping off the whiz robes, and this is what I get for it. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. It's a good thing, like, everything in this game can be destroyed by arrows. Seriously. Kill you! Ugh. More? Really? Alright. One at a time, I guess. I mean, like I said, they should really just give a bunch of whiz robes as the final boss battle, because you know what? Like, having to deal with all this crap and also focusing on a whiz robe in a final boss battle would be so difficult to do, I think.
See, like, I I'm trying to aim for it, and it's not even letting me aim at the whiz rope. It's, like, aiming me all the way over at a completely different enemy, and I think I actually talked about that earlier on, too, when we were in the Wind Temple, I think? I think it was? We were in the Wind Temple, and, like, I just couldn't hit the whiz rope because it wasn't, it wasn't letting me actually target him. It was focusing on another target, which is just really irritating. And again, how many... Uh, you know what? They should just call this place a whiz rope island, seriously. This is a pain in my ass. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yes, it is. Whew. Alright. Stupid, stupid wizard robes. Let's get our treasure orb first. And let's see what this is. It's a silver rupee, so it's 200 rupees, which will help us along the way obviously to getting more rupees in the last like two videos we've gotten like 600 rupees which is really awesome and um where is it you, you can get a heart piece on this island as well but i always oh my god the bomb's gonna hit me i always forget where you actually get it from i think you can come over and you can blow something up and grab it um, on the actual island itself, I'm pretty sure. So if I can hook shot back over here. About that thing hitting me. Nope. You know what? That guy's just gonna com continuously piss me off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump over this way. And I'm gonna look around this island, because I know that you can, uh, by using your bombs on a certain part of this island, you can also get a heart piece. And I don't want to leave without the heart piece, so just give me a minute, guys. I'm just going to search around and see what I can find. Alright, so I found what I was looking for. If you just kind of destroy the grass around this big structure here, you can actually crawl on through. And there is another hole down here that you can go down into. And this should have uh, a piece of heart on it. And then we should pretty much be done with Paw Print Island. It's one of these islands that's really, really small, and it doesn't really appear to have any purpose, but then you go into it, and it's actually, um, it actually has quite a bit of purpose, which is actually um, very unique, I find. And it, it's very, um, I guess, puzzle-like as well, like you don't really expect to, uh, to really find much. And in the, this place here, I think I'll demonstrate the hurricane spin because there's a lot of grass and I haven't demonstrated it yet. But what you do is you charge it up and unleash. As you can see, I, get, I can just destroy all that grass really, really quickly. And um, I think if you use it too many times in a row or if Link like hits his head on uh, too many things, you can actually uh, get dizzy. That didn't happen for me, but uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advise overusing the hurricane spin for that reason, just in case that happens. And if we go through here, I think we'll be able to get the heart piece should be in that chest, hopefully. And if not, there's a few different places we can go. I would assume it's in one of the bigger metal chests, though, so that doesn't seem right to me. Picking up chew jelly as we go. And let's see what's in this one here. 50 rupees, not bad, not bad. Okay, so it wasn't in that entrance, so let's keep on going. This appears to be kind of a, uh, a maze of some sort. It's just like, the island isn't very big, but there's a lot to it, apparently. Another dead end? Nothing up here? Alright. And this is definitely not it either. That's a joy pendant. That's a shame. I wish it was more rupees. That'd be at least useful in some way, shape, or form. Aha! Here it is. This must be it. Obviously, this big, ominous-looking, spiked chest. There's our heart piece. Wonderful. So... This, is a, this has been a pretty good island. Like, we collected 250 rupees, a bunch of chew jelly. And there's also another piece we can get before leaving, as a matter of fact, so we'll be getting two pieces of heart on this island, and uh, 
we won't have to come back here because you can pretty much do everything you need to do on Paw Print Island. Assuming you have the correct uh, treasure chart, you have bombs, and you have a hook shot. So, I would advise coming here later after you get uh, all the proper equipment so you don't have to make multiple trips. Alright. And the last little piece of heart is going to be in our little, uh, our treasure wing that's on the other side of the island here. So that's what I'm going to go and grab right now. I've got to do a little bit of maneuvering, so just give me a second here. Alright, I took care of the boats. I basically just killed the boat so it would leave me alone, and then I had to come over here and find the treasure. And luckily enough, I found it on my first try, which is always nice because I honestly had no idea where it was because it went away so soon. But like I promised, we get another piece of heart. So, two pieces of heart on this island, and I think that is a pretty good prize to me. Um, being that we have already gone to Windfall and we don't need to really go there again, I'm just going to meet you guys on the next island because we haven't been there yet. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so here's our next island, all ready to go for us. And this is actually a, uh, a unique island. Because it's actually our first um, island that we'll actually see is just specifically dedicated to a minigame. So this is a very, very easy, an easy island to actually get everything in one trip as well, because you can win both prizes um, by playing one minigame. So this is uh, Spectacle Island. Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. And that'll come and play later. I'm not worried about that right now. Thank you, Mr. Mapfish. Alright. Uh, I'm going to try to fish that out of the water first. Uh, just because our wind direction's going the right way. So we might as well try and grab it while we can. Let's uh, stop right here. Sounds promising. I can hear the the sound loud and clear. There we go. You need treasure chart number 22 in order to be able to fish this out of the water. And this again has a silver rupee. We've been seeing lots of these, but uh, it's definitely a good thing. So, let's take a trip to this island and see what kind of mini games we've got. And we can also see that we have mail, which we haven't got mail in a long time. So, hopefully, it's something good. I recently received some golden feathers from my boyfriend who mentioned you. Aha! So, see, I thought that she would uh, give you something, and I do believe she sends you a piece of heart. So, if you give uh, her boyfriend the 20 golden feathers, he will give you a, uh, a orange rupee, and then if you get the letter from her, she will give you a piece of heart. So, definitely worth it. And where is the ladder? There it is. We can talk to this guy. And I mean, do you recognize him from anywhere? <laughs> he's been wearing his little mask. Now he's sleeping, so I can't actually talk to him. You have to do this uh, during the day. I'm already closed for today. <sighs> he is just the strangest person. Ugh. Like, First of all, how can he sleep standing up? And how can he sleep with... Uh, I don't even... Yeah. Anyways, I think we'll stop the video here just for safe measures in case it's too long. And uh, I'll turn it back to the daytime and we will go ahead and we will play his games and see what kind of prizes we can get. So thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you all next time.